Hi guys, PJ here with a short video on how to remove the radio, the factory fitted radio, from a Seat Ibiza. Now, it's not a particularly difficult radio to remove, it's just very, very fragile. The clips are very strong that hold it in. You're going to need, as per usual, a plastic leverage tool, something like this Bojo tool, which are available from such places like eBay or Amazon or your local car shop. And you're going to start by getting it underneath the edge around here okay so it sort of goes in look and sinks in and you're going to carefully prise it all the way around edge working like I say along the middle bits especially are very very tight so you're gonna to have to use a little bit of force but not enough to snap the trim I've seen a lot of people snap these trims in half now you've got to be very careful the clips on them are like I say are incredibly strong so uh, you're going to flex it and it's going to bend quite a lot, you know, but uh, it will come off with a bit of perseverance, the, the clips there that I'm just highlighting. After you've got this trim off, hopefully in one piece, you've got TX20, uh, sorry, TX20 screws, four of, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Go ahead and remove all four of those. Wriggling the radio left and right and up and down will release it from its uh, captive holder. And on the back you have a quad lock connector and a FACRA aerial connector. Now pretty straightforward to remove, just watch your dashboard underneath there because this is metal and obviously your dashboard's plastic so you don't want it to scratch it or anything like that. If you're worried put a bit of padding, a bit of cardboard or something underneath it. These are on a squeezy tab, all you do is squeeze the end in and pull it out. And these are on a pivot lock, so all you've got to do, squeeze there in the middle and rotate, quite tricky with one hand, rotate the uh, the lever up. Can you see that going up? There we go, and out it comes. So it's on like a pivot lock, it just sort of rotates round and undo your aerial. And that is pretty straightforward when you've got both hands. Let me just pause my video. There we go. So like I was saying, there's just a little squeeze tab underneath, look. So squeeze that in and pull, and it'll come straight out. Support your radio with one hand, though. You don't want it tumbling out onto all your plastic. And this bit, like I say, very easy, look. That's it locked. That's in the radio. And then there's a tab on the back. Squeeze it. And it'll rotate, he says, round like so to release it. Yeah, so that's the release position. And that is how you remove the radio from a Seat Ibiza as quickly as possible. Like I say, no delays. If you've got any questions or anything, drop them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.